Look for them to dictate tempo, move the ball from left to right, and be that connective midfield duo that connects that back to front. Bunbury, you want him to make those runs into the challenge to stretch this Austin FC. In fact, he's going to be the box-to-box -box midfielder for Brad Elley. Pino at that front line, he needs to be very good. Stay high, occupy the two center backs, and Valentin Noel and Rodriguez stay high and wide and test the shape of this Columbus crew. And I do think the first 10 to 15 minutes is going to be really important. Who's going to impose their identity on the opposition? Because you, can, you can't win a cup final in the first 15 minutes, but you can definitely let it get away from you. Austin. This is Habrun. Taps to Fusan. Sends it into the box. Bunbury right in front of goal. But Damian Loss attacks with Fury and handles business on the first attempt for Columbus. Pocket of Holstead as we take a look at this chance for a Columbus crew. But look at this run from Bunbury. He just slashes across Matsafer and Loss just as Rayo had space. Leaves it for Fusan. The recovery ball back, Fusan, and Damian Loss does it again. As Roberts comes into the interior, flicks it on to Rayo and Fusan. This ball is taken away. Sebastian Pino into the path of Rodriguez. Vela, a shot stopped. There's spillage, but Stanislav Slopkis figures it out and finds the ball. This game sets up. Austin FC has an overload centrally. I do think this ball is meant to play for Noel. It's a good first touch to give credit for Vela, but doesn't get around it enough as he would like. Big time save from Lopez. Javon Rayo has space and opportunity for Columbus. Rayo, Roberts taps it for Holstead. OMG. Damian Loss line because if you initially break it you just see the real estate to play between lines you have to give credit to Roberts as he comes centrally he pulls out Asensio and that opens up a big gaping hole on this far end what a massive save this is from Damian Laws you see how quickly he comes off his line it will be Roberts lifts into the box headed away for a moment Habrun will head it towards Micheletto a rocket is stopped by Damian Loss 38 minutes in, this ball comes out and falls kindly to Marco Micheletta. You need to hit across it. Yaro Hunga, out to Rodriguez. Potentially the last action of the half. Rodriguez just misses from distance. Left-footed by Trey, the ability just to beat and skip by individual markers. Just tattoos this thing, head down, laces through it. Technique on display. Lapkus does just enough to punch it off of his crossbar, but you just see the one substitution at the half. CJ Fadri has come on for Cristo Vela. And we begin half number two of MLS Next Pro. We saw this in their last match versus Colorado. That first 15 minutes of the half, well, they had multiple chances, could not find their goal. This is David Rodriguez locked away by Lapkus once again. Rune once again plays pass with Fuson right to Bunbury spinning and twirling no shot from him now a foul and a spot kick upcoming for Columbus he provides the width and he just challenges opposition very good 1v1 you just start to see the right leg of Toure just gets caught in the cookie jar here great angle here catches the left foot of Fuson he goes down he makes the most of it right in front of our center if you're during that instance once again when we have Roberts standing over it mono imano Roberts and loss Roberts rips the cords and Columbus takes the lead 1-0 and then number 10 cool as you would like straight down the middle just takes a tiny bit off of it so let's Damian loss dive the wrong way no chance for the goalkeeper, and it's off to the corner to celebrate. You see. Jacob Erlinson clears that cross away. Mateo Bumbery on the ball now. Bumbery on his own. Mateo Bumbery blocked away by Damian Loss in the end. He's going to advance himself. That ball needs to be played into the path. There's no questions whatsoever. 
As he tries to do a little bit too much and overcomplicate it here, Mateo Bunbury. A nice touch from Fadri. Austin might be loose. This is Valentin Noel. Noel push from behind and a point to the spot. I'll tell you what. Not a lot of contact there. And Noel just falls on his own. The traffic right in front of Erlingson and Mohammed. No one touches him. He goes down. You see the disbelief on the sub's face. Trying to stop it is Stanislav Lapkis. Ramirez taps it home, and we're tied. One all. Or Mohammed. Noel goes down and cool as you would like, much like the conference finals. Eyes on the goalkeeper the whole way. He beat you through combination play or 1v1. He's had a really good second half, Valentino Noel has. Now Austin will look to run off the turnover. Noel towards Fadri. Cuts back right to Valentin. Noel! Yes, sir! Valentin Noel gives Austin the lead. 2-1. that he's had in this second half, but watch of his movement. The lack thereof, as he understands it's back line for Columbus Crews retreating, where's the real estate? Right on top of the D. Fadri picks up his head, he sees the run from the Libra, plays it right into the path of Valentino Noel, and that's where you want him. Facing towards the goal, brilliant first touch out of his body, and just ropes this thing into the far post. Terrific goal. Micheletto. Four pass picked up by Asensio. And now Valentin Noel on the ball once again. Leaves it for Fadri. Austin wanting more. Across the face of goal. And another one is in. Austin has turned this game on its head. And the Verde and Black lead 3-1. Simple yet efficient here from Fadri. Just a willingness. He's onside. Rogers keeps him on the bottom of your screen, but watch the movement of Pino. You can turn one to three and three into a cup. Austin FC2, MLS Next Pro Champions of 2023, and you can take that to the bank.